Hey guys, it's your girl Coco. Hola mi gente, hola mi pana. Um, today I'm here and I'm going to teach you guys about burro bananas or burro, um, depending on how you say it. Here I have some unripe burro bananas. Here is the ripened ones, okay? So burro bananas are everything to me, right? So here you can see the view of the bananas. So here is a green burro banana. This has not ripened yet. As you can see, it's starting to at the bottom. And these over here, they are actually ripened burro bananas. This is the regular bananas that most people purchase in the store. Um, and these are actually called cabin dish bananas. So I've been eating the burro bananas for about a year now. Um, my produce guy introduced them to me. And as the video continues, I will let you know um, different ways you can eat the ripened ones and the ones that are not yet ripe. So just a quick review of these ones here. So this is the cabin dish banana. Um, when I was looking over things online, it was saying this is the most popular fruit in America um, because it's produced on a massive plantation. So burro bananas, um, they actually have a couple different names to them. So some people prefer or refer them as chunky bananas, logo bananas, horse banana, hog banana, Largo banana and Orinoco banana. So, um, most of the uh, burro bananas, as you can see, um, I will zoom in, but this here, it's telling me uh, where it's from. So this is from Ecuador. And these are actually the so same, as you can see, um, these have the same stickers on them because they are actually from the same exact bushel or whatever you want to call it. Um, so I purchased these uh, last Thursday. So today is now Tuesday and they have ripened because the temperature in my apartment is pretty, um, I wouldn't say high, but I have um, anemia. So I am cold a lot. So I like to turn my heat up. So these ones have ripened quickly. Now these ones I just purchased. Um, from the same exact person, um, the same exact box that these ones came in, and these are not yet ripe um, because the temperature he keeps his um, home in is a lot different than mine. So as you can see, these are not ripened. And I'm gonna use them for two different things. So that's exactly why I purchased them. Okay, so just a quick overview um, and history of the burro bananas. So burro bananas, can be considered to be produced less and exotic to most people because I actually didn't learn about these until I was 27, 28 years old. So um, that's major. I've been living in the US for 25 or 26 of those years and I have never heard of these or I've never seen them before. I've only ever heard of the Cavendish ones. So back to the burro bananas. So um, burro bananas in general, they can be cooked like plantains. They're thicker, they're more square in shape. Um, they are definitely different uh, in texture when they are ripened. Some very good nutritional facts. They're very low in fat and calories, high in potassium, and there's a significant amount of vitamin B and C um, to include magnesium and fiber in them. So they also contain calcium, of course, iron, zinc, copper, phosphorus, and psyllium. So these are actually very, very good, I've read, for those who actually have anemia, and I am one of them. So what I'm going to do is start incorporating it more into my diet, not just with um, the smoothies that I was making previously. So I will continue to use them but in a larger um, quantity. So burro bananas are actually also the world's largest herbaceous plant. Um, there's no discrimination in the season that they are grown. 
because they are grown all year. So how wonderful is that? It's like they're considered quote unquote exotic, but you can find them all year. So as I was saying before, you can find them in Mexico um, and in Ecuador. It's a great source to incorporate into your diet. I would definitely recommend it for all of my family and friends. So just to break down um, bananas. So bananas in general are a vital source of food security in many tropical and subtropical countries. It's most popular in industrialized countries. I have so much in the United States, but in other countries that are, you know, they are consuming tons and tons and tons of bananas, um, more than, than um, most Americans are. So the difference between the yellow one here, more of a fruit, it definitely has a tangy, sweetier um, taste. So um, I remember when I had purchased them from Eric and he's like, you know, they have like a lemony taste and they really do. It's not like a strong lemon taste, but I think it gives it a little bit more flavor. So like a lemon banana flavor, don't, don't be alarmed if you're, <laughs> if you do not like lemons, trust me, it's, it's not, it's really not like that. Um, so you can use them for, you know, your smoothies. That's what I've used them um, mainly in. Um, you can use them in banana cream pie, banana pudding. Ooh, honey, I'm telling you, banana pudding is so good. Um, so I also watched some videos on YouTube where um, many people are actually baking them. So these ones, um, when you bake the ripened ones, it takes a little bit longer because they're moist, but um, they are said to be pretty good. And I'll give you guys a review um, probably later on this week because I am going to try out some recipes. These are very alkaline. I, I forgot to mention that at the beginning. So many vegans use these. Um, I am slowly trying to transition to a vegan diet, a plant-based diet um i have made a lot of improvements but there are still some things that i have been um lingering on so back to the ripened ones a lot of people that eat plantains um they use these and they fry them and i've actually done that before and i'll post a picture of that and show you what they look like they tasted so good and i actually like these better than eating the uh plantains i like those a lot better A lot of people use them for french fries so they taste amazing you can fry them um, use some grapeseed oil put them in the oven you can bake them as french fries that way or just make them as potato like not potato skins but you know potatoes like that size or so um, or that width I should say not so much that length um, and people use them as mashed potatoes as well um, there was one great um youtube video that i watched online and this doesn't pertain to the to the unripe ones but the ripened ones they were um actually they made oh. fritter bananas and if anyone is from the islands um jamaica fritters oh my gosh they are so good um but this was like a sweeter type it's so good i'm gonna try the recipe and i will definitely post that as well so back to the bananas i actually um i stopped purchasing these um these bananas the uh cavendish bananas because they actually weren't lasting long um in my apartment so even in the in the summertime when the air was on they were not lasting um and I, I just I seem to have so many fruit flies. I had so much fruit, and um, I just have I had a lot of fruit flies. And honestly, fruit flies do come with the territory, but it just was too much for me. When I would purchase these, I could keep them for so long, and I wouldn't see any fruit flies on them. So the regular bro bananas are considered to be natural. Um, they have seeds in them. I'm going to open. Um, I'll open one of each um so I'll, I'll open a ripened one and i will also open an unripe one so you guys can see the difference on the end here 
They peel the same like bananas. It's really not that serious. Opening it just like a regular banana. Now these ones are a little bit harder to open, but you see what it looks like here. Mm, I can smell it right now and it smells amazing. Um, I'm just gonna set this on the table. I'm gonna take a bite of it, but not at this current moment. I'm probably gonna have a hard time trying to peel it right now because it's not ripe. So I'm actually, let me go grab a knife real quick. So back with the knife in ones, just like with uh, plantains. It honestly looks like I don't know how to use a knife, but I do. Kind of nervous. I've never used a knife on camera before, so I'm kind of looking at the camera and looking at the uh, thing at the same time. So I'm just gonna cut that top part off. All right. Now, I do. My nails aren't super long, but I have a long nail bed, so it kind of looks like my nails are long, but they're not. Just gotta be careful when you're peeling them. You see, oh my gosh. And this smells amazing too. So they look just like plantains. Very similar, right? So I'll just put that there. And then if I look to see, compare the two, you can kind of see this is hard for sure. Like look at my thumb, right? And then this one that leaves an indentation So these are, these are perfect for smoothies. Some people do use these for smoothies as well, the uh, unripe ones. But these ones are gonna give you the better like taste. It's gonna be uh, fruitier. So I'll just place these here. I'm planning on making some either fries tonight um, with these or something like that I'll put in the oven and use some grapeseed oil with gonna be amazing and some cayenne pepper I love cayenne pepper anything spicy that's me so if I can show you if we get a side view of the two you'll see that these bananas are tremendously different in size. So the burrow bananas are all natural. They have seeds in them. These are it, okay? I don't purchase these bananas anymore and I haven't for a long time. Um, and that's just my personal preference. There's nothing wrong with them. I will eat this eventually. I did say that I was going to try the burrow banana. So this is the banana, right? The channel is crunchy. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. These are my favorite bananas. Mm. These bananas are amazing. I recommend to the, I recommend them to everyone. They taste so much better than the regular bananas. Oh my gosh. Like 10 times better than the regular ones. So definitely find out where you can get them from your um, local farmer's market your local produce guy whatever but um thank you guys for tuning in to this yeah i appreciate you guys stay blessed for real